In this video, we're going to look at the settings you need to put in place to enable autosave in Excel 365, and then how to disable autosave if you don't want to use it. Okay, so I'm just over here on a blank unsaved document. And as you can see up in the top corner, autosave is switched off. And if I go up and try to switch it on, it asks me how I want to actually do it. And that's because I don't have my settings right. So what you need to do is just go to file and account, come up to manage settings under account privacy, and just make sure you've got all connected experiences switched on. So just check this box that says turn on all connected experiences and click on OK. And then go to options, save. Check the first box that says auto save files stored in the cloud by default in Excel. And it's also a good idea to check the box that says show additional places for saving, even if sign in may be required. And then we'll click on OK. Okay, now we're back on our document and it's still saying that auto save is off and that's because we actually need to save it. So I'll just go ahead and save the file and I'll just give it a name. And as you can see, it's going to save it to OneDrive, which is what we want. So I'll just click on save. Okay, now up the top, you can see two things have happened. The first thing is that it's changed the name to my spreadsheet, which is what I called it. And the second thing to note is that autosave is now on. Okay, so if you want to disable autosave, I could go up here and just toggle this off and that would turn off autosave for this file. But I'll show you how to disable the settings. So if we go to file and then we go back into options and save, uncheck that first box that says autosave files stored in the cloud by default in Excel. And it's a good idea to uncheck that box that says show additional places for saving, even if sign in may be required and then click OK. And then just go to file again, go back to account, go to manage settings, scroll down, uncheck the box that says turn on all connected experiences and click on OK. And you may need to restart Excel, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I've just restarted Excel and now I'll open a new blank workbook and you can see that autosave is off. Now, if I save this file, I'll need to save it to my PC because I've disabled OneDrive. So I'll just give it a name. Okay, I've just called it My Spreadsheet 2 and I'll click on save. Okay, and if you look up in the top corner there, you can see that the spreadsheet now has the name that I gave it but autosave has not been turned on, so it's fully disabled. Okay, so now you know the settings to enable and disable autosave in Excel 365.